Now that we have our products displayed under specific categories, it's time to think about the pagination. Well, what pagination will allow us to do is to avoid the situation where we have hundreds, pro hundreds of products displayed on one page, where you have to scroll through hours, maybe even, to get to some of the products. Uh, okay, so let's get back to our editor. Uh, catalog PHP is going to be the page to which we will apply our pagination. But to start with, open our classes folder and create a new class new file called paging.php. Inside of this file, start typing with uh, the opening PHP tag, then class paging. It doesn't extend anything. Now we're going to create a few properties. First one will be a private property called underscore record. Next one will be private as well, property called max per page max pp then we will have private number nmb and umb of pages then we have private as well current another private offset and the default uh, value for offset will be zero. Then we will have private static parameter property, sorry, called key, underscore key. And we will assign the default value to this PG for paging. And then public property called URL. Now we will start with the first function, uh, the constant public function. Sorry, construct, constructor, not constant. Constructor, as you may remember, constructor executes right at the beginning whenever the, the class is instantiated. So this records equals, and what is it going to be equal to? It will be equal to the records which we're going to pass as the first parameter. And then we also gonna pass another parameter saying how many how many records per page we want to, uh, to be displayed so if we copy this rows parameter and assign this to the records then this number of pages equals count this records count function simply counts uh, the elements uh, of the array so obviously we'll know how many records is there uh, by simply using this uh, count function and passing the records as parameter to it. Then this maximum per page equals max. As you may see, default is 10. But we can we will have an option to change it, obviously, if you want to. This URL equals, and now we're going to use our static class which we haven't created yet, uh, called get current URL. So we use our URL class. It's going to be static. So get current URL. And we'll pass the key of self underscore key, our static parameter, which will be, which will have a uh, assigned value of PG to it. Now we're going to create the variable called current to store the current uh, page so it's going to be URL we're going to get the parameter uh, PG from it so get param and obviously self and our underscore key now uh, we're going to do this underscore current equals if is an empty current then we use our current variable value assigned to it otherwise we know that the page this is the first page so number one then we will call two of the methods from this uh, class this the first one is will be called number 
of pages and a second one will be called get offset now we need to create three functions first one is get current URL inside of the URL class second one is number of pages and third one is get offset so let's move to the next video and create this get current URL uh, method